Now to the assassination of a boss of the Gambino crime family. The news was breaking as we went on the air last night. Francesco Frankie Boy Cali gunned down outside his Staten Island home after police say he was lured outside. It brought back memories of December of 1985. Paul Castellano taken out in Midtown outside a steakhouse in the city's last major mob hit. CBS 2's Valerie Castro live at the scene of the latest one tonight. Valerie. Maurice, tonight the Francesco Cali home remains a crime scene. Police have been here outside the home ever since those 911 calls came in last night that multiple shots had been fired, and it seems the murder was caught on camera. 24 hours after the deadly shots were fired, NYPD detectives continued to work the case of a mob boss murder, leaving the home of Francesco Frankie Boy Cali on Staten Island Thursday night with what appeared to be a police canine. You heard the gunshots? Yeah. Pat Segalis is a neighbor and was home Wednesday night when police say the 53 year old Gambino crime family boss was gunned down in the street. And next thing I know, the police were ringing my doorbell. Out of 12 shots, six bullets hit Cali in the chest, and sources say his wife and children were just feet away inside their home. The kids are nice, the wife's nice. Mm -hmm. He was very private. Did you ever talk to him much? Say no, hello? just wave in the car. Police say the assassination was caught on camera. This one is attached to the Cali's front porch and likely had a bird's eye view of the crime. Just before the shooting, police say there was an accident in front of the home involving Cali's SUV. The incident possibly staged to lure him out into the open. You see an altercation. Uh, where shots are fired, what appears to be shots, muzzle flash coming from one individual to the other. Cali tried to hide behind his SUV, using it as a shield. Today, detectives hauled it away as evidence in hopes the suspect may have touched it. They dusted it for fingerprints. The last major blow to the Gambino family was the 1985 death of Paul Castellano, murdered in front of Sparks Steakhouse in Manhattan. His death led to the rise of John Gotti. After Gotti went to prison, Cali came into power but kept a low profile running a heroin and prescription drug operation, according to sources. Several theories are in the works as to who was responsible, but one thing is clear, says mob expert David Shapiro. Mr. Cowley was um, worth more uh, dead than alive. He posed a threat to somebody. So far, police have not released any of that surveillance video, but say it captured a blue pickup truck driving away from the scene. Reporting live in the Toad Hill section of Staten Island, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.